and yes my eyelash glue is still wet and what i'm kidding okay <laughs> scarf on so um we're gonna take that off and we're gonna get into this wig so i just got this wig from glamour trust and i had never ordered from them before i thought the prices were good just gonna be honest i thought the shipping was a little bit long but i did order right after christmas so i'm gonna give them a pass for holiday crazy sale blah but I felt like shipping from like Sam's Beauty or uh, wigs.com was a little better in terms of fast, but again, give them a pass. So I grabbed up this, this is my first sister wig and her name I think is Connie. I don't think it's Cody. I think it's Connie. Um, and this is the Dream shift free parting um she is in the color sombre roots at 27 30 and you can see you uh you know she's flipping the part or whatever it's just one of those i know they say this like freedom part thing it just means like shift it around which we already do that but thanks for pointing out Anywho, came in this box here. It comes in a bunch of different cumber. It comes in a bunch of different cumbers. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Um, and most of them outside of your like one, one B twos, um, are this sort of a sombre type situation. It's a four inch deep hand tied part. And the it says it says it's heat safe up to 400. Um, I do have my little curling wand in case, you know, there's humpage because I don't like humpage. Okay, so this is Connie here. Hello, 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 hello. And she, you can see this is the lace parting because you can see the mannequin head through there. Um, it is a lace parting. It's not a lace front. There is sort of baby hairs um, in there. So that's nice. And you can see her coloring. It's just that sombre sort of like that just beautiful uh, gradation uh, especially like if you were to have your um this is how I used to have my hair where I just only colored the ends and then there would just be this natural gradation with the sun and everything like that um she's a mid-length I would say she's more of like a soft sort of water wavy type beachy wave situation which I absolutely like so let's just get her on and quit playing games because I actually have to go to work today yay I'm playing. I really love my work, actually. I love my work. I love my co-workers. So. I have my wig cap on. I um, have a little bit of my own hair out because I hadn't tried her, so I don't know what the situation's going to be. We'll quickly look at the cap construction on the inside. She has two combs in the front um, close to that lace parting. You can see the lace on the inside. Um, and then there's also a comb in the back and the adjustable straps. I have not worn her, but when I put her on the wig cap, I'm not sure. I feel like she might be a little bit snug just because I usually don't have an issue like pulling it down on the wig, on my, not wig caps, on my wig heads. So let's just see. So I put my wigs on back to front. So let's do that. Never mind. There's a really, really, really nice stretch. What, what are you doing, girl? I'm telling you, these are my, my go-to type. I love center parts, and I love this sort of wig color, these 30s and 27s, like, especially when I'm going to work. Um, so let's see what we got going on here. 
The one thing with the baby hair is the only thing I, I recommend is like to put your thumb up underneath the rim and pull out just to get them so they're not like tucked down in. All right, I'm just gonna put that right. Oh, that's nice. The parting space is nice. I'm gonna hook her in the back and then see what we got. I feel like ideally she should be do you see how the sides are different? Like your normal hair would be different. It wouldn't be equal sides. Um, so that's actually not an issue for me. But I do feel like she could go one way. So before I strap her in, just so you can see, this would be the right side sided part, which I don't normally do. But oh, I like that. I like that. It's not bad. I feel like she likes being a, like the way this side is. If you can see, it's a little bit um, longer. I feel like she likes being on the right. She likes it on the right. Stop it. Okay, let's try her on. If I was to part it on the side, I would do it on the left. See, do you see how this hangs down like this? I feel like, I mean, if you were going to, you could heat style her a little bit, but that's partially the cap construction. So I feel like, for me, like it's not bad. It's just for me, I get... I feel like I don't like that straight line down. So if I were to wear her on my left, which is how I prefer to wear a side part, yeah, I'd have to just tuck her behind the ear, which is fine. And it actually kind of looks nice when it when it hangs straight down on my face. I don't like that. But when it hangs straight down and then you tuck it, it actually gives a nice little, like, fall. I don't know. I might have to wear her like this. Normally, I wouldn't do that. So for today, I'm just going to go ahead and put her where I would have put her anyway. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I do kind of like her other ways. All right, let me get her clip down. The cap construction, it's on just the regular um, setting. And I do feel like this is very nice. But I do think it has like a, it's weird. It has like a stretchiness in the actual cap, a give. And I do feel like it would be larger head friendly for sure. All right, so let me fix up the part here and then I'll come back and show you what I did, like finally what I did. <laughs> loving her for a bunch of reasons one this part I didn't even mess with this part you just saw that other than put a powder in it I did not even mess with the part it has really nice baby hairs now I don't know if I would um I don't have time to do it now but I don't know if I would pluck these um but I feel like I wouldn't because I think they're really nice I just don't know if I need to like play with them a little bit more or what so in general though the the fact that they're there and they're nice and they're available for how like you might want to wear your wigs because we're going to wear them differently is awesome the wig cap is so dang comfortable like it was so, the stretchiness of, i can't it's like so stretchy like and and comfortable it's so stretchy and comfortable it's just it's snug but not tight that's what it is it's snug it feels secure like this was one of the first wigs where I almost thought like I didn't even have to clip in the two front clips and normally I always feel that way so like it was snug but it wasn't overly tight so let me show you what it looks like in the back 
I always do this and then I can't see. So yeah, there's the back. Um, I'm five foot six and a half. I'm almost five. I'm basically five foot seven. Um, so this is going to mid back on me. I always like to show like the movement of the wig. Um, I think the color is stunning. Um, I like this. This is a very uh, light, light, yakky texture. Um, so it could tangle slightly, but it would come out easily. I'll try to get close to see if you can see that it is a, like a light, you can see it a little bit in the reflection. It's a light, yakky texture, definitely. Um, and like I said, it's light, but it's not. And this is, this is everything to the front. So I feel like the density is super nice. It's definitely wearable. It's breathable. It would be a good summer wig, especially if you live in a hotter climate, um, because it looks really nice and full, but it's, um, it isn't too thick. It reminds me of a wig. I haven't reviewed her yet, but it reminds me of the wig that I have from Harlem 125. I will try to put the name of that wig. As far as the texture, it's like almost the exact same texture, except she's way thicker. Um, I feel like this is more doable. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm loving her. So I can bring her even to the side. I feel like this is, I say this for like, every other wig. I feel like the, it's definitely going to be one of my work week wigs, but it's definitely be easily a favorite. And I might get her in another color, but we'll see. So yeah, I, I don't really buy wigs in general that are over the $25 mark, um, unless it's very like a specific wig that I've been looking for or a color that I've been looking for specifically. Um, so I'll put all the information down below where I got her, how much I paid, but definitely it was under $30. I'm so, so happy. And like, what do you think? This and these, when it's this texture, it's super nice to be able to just do like a loose little, like one of these and it still looks kind of natural. Um, you know, you could, you can just do a lot with this. I feel like this is very versatile, um, cute little pony. So at any rate, there you go. Uh, that's Connie, uh, from Sister Wigs. This is my first Sister Wig and I'm loving her. So let me know, do you have this wig? Do you have her a different color? Do you love her? Um, is there a wig that you'd like to see me review? Um, maybe you already have it on my review list over here. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I upload three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and sometimes a fourth bonus upload. I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.